Happy Saturday, everybody. It's Robin here. Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot. I'm doing your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Saturday, April 30th, and I am using the wildly wacky and unpredictable Black Cat Tarot, okay? <clears throat> I get some really weird readings from this deck, but it's also super fun, so I hope you guys enjoy the reading for the collective today. So let me just crack on with the reading. There's a nice card here for us. Okay, it does look like the Queen of Swords. Okay, so a certain sense of pride here. I'm getting words like a job well done and being able to sit back and observe without any judgment, okay? And just giving yourself a real strong pat on the back today. There's also like pulling your shoulders back and hold your head up high. I, I see there's some sort of a storm that you might have weathered recently. And you can be really proud of the way that you navigated a, a really tough situation, okay? So things are clearing up a little bit for you today and you're like, oh, I did such a good job of handling that. Okay. So, um, let me just pull another card. I really like the way that the queen is just, her posture is so strong. This really powerful sense of self and an acknowledgement that you're doing the best that you can on any given day in any situation. Okay. So, there's a little bit of a lesson in that card where it's like, always be proud of yourself, no matter what the outcome was, okay? Because you're just out there giving it your all. Mm. So this is quite fascinating here, the card that I pulled. I've got the hanged man here. So let's ask yourselves the question. I just bit my tongue. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you judging yourself too harshly? Are you using the energy of the Queen of Swords who can be a little bit harsh on herself sometimes and others? Are you using your words with kindness, especially when they are directed at yourself? Okay, so how many of you, and let me know in the comments, pick yourself apart like your performance at work um, the way that you look, uh, like any aspect of yourself, what is going on in your head when you're doing things? Are, are you filled with this real sense of pride and joy? And if not, why are you doing that to yourself? Why are you being such a harsh critic on yourself and potentially towards others, okay? There's a real recognition of being able to look at yourself and say, I'm doing the best I can. If you find yourself being really judgmental of other people or just kind of like being disrespectful to other people, maybe just even in your thoughts, you're not saying anything, like what is going on there? Everybody here is just doing the best that they can. It's, it's very important to remind yourself, and this is where the hanged man comes in. Like if you do notice that you're not being able to send out thoughts of love and light to other people, what is motivating you to do that? And it's usually a dissatisfaction with self, okay? So you're being really encouraged to watch these negative thoughts that are coming in and replace them instead with an understanding and a lack of judgment and a pride in yourself and other people as they just sort of navigate their path, okay? And it's also gonna be really important to understand that everybody has their own karma. You cannot take responsibility for the path that other people are on. Uh, I'm getting a phrase here that people that live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. So um, if there's some sort of behavior that is bothering you about somebody else, that's probably a trigger to look at yourselves a little bit more deeply, okay? And take some really intentional steps backwards with the hanged man and say, why am I doing this? Like, why am I cutting myself down? Why am I being so angel number 444? I think I have seen this every day this week. I bit my tongue again. What is going on? Maybe I'm talking too fast. But anyway, okay, so it is really time 
to flip the script on the way that you're speaking to yourself and potentially other people, okay? And I, two cards just dropped out. Um, hold on for a second. I'm going to write something down. So here's the two cards that fell out of the deck when I was busy talking, okay? So we've got the King of Swords, and then we have the World card, okay? So all this energy that is being expended on judging self and others could be put to way better use, okay? So you see the King of Swords, he's really sharpening up his wit and filtering out things that are of no use. You can see King of Swords energy in very high positions around the world, okay? These are people that are highly intelligent and they can basically conquer any situation that they're in. So any sort of low lying negative statements that you might be employing towards yourself and others, it's time to really get rid of them and turn your words into good instead of negative, okay? And you can see here with the world card, this is fascinating illumination here, okay? So you can see the lightness coming out of the darkness. You can see that this cat is peeling away the darkness from outside to let love and light shine forward, okay? So this is really sort of a life lesson in how you're speaking to yourself, how you were speaking to other people, and how you can redirect that energy to your highest good and use it to amplify your accomplishments with the world card, okay? So a little bit of a, like a thinker this reading was. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Wishing you love and light. Take care, bye.